Galatians 5, 22 and 23 again says, But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness. The Spirit plants the seed of kindness in our hearts. We must allow that seed to grow. One of the kindest people I have ever known was my maternal grandmother. She exuded kindness. Her soft-spoken and kind manner won over all who crossed her path. Her kindness flowed from the Holy Spirit within her. Luther said, True followers of the gospel must not be sharp and bitter, but gentle, mild, courteous, and soft-spoken, which should encourage others to seek their company. In other words, he said Christians should be kind. And scripture is filled with kind people. I think of Joseph and his kindness to his brothers, even after they had sold him as a slave. I think of Naomi, Ruth, and Boaz, who each displayed remarkable kindness. Naomi showed kindness by releasing her daughter-in-laws from any obligation to stay with her. Ruth showed kindness toward Naomi in committing to leave her own people and return with Naomi to Israel. And Boaz showed remarkable kindness to Ruth in his commitment as her kinsman redeemer to marry her. King David in 2 Samuel 9, 1 was looking for an opportunity to show kindness when he said, Is there anyone still left of the house of Saul that I may show him kindness for Jonathan's sake? And of course, Mephibosheth became the recipient of David's great kindness when David took him into the palace. And God is our supreme example, as Ephesians 1, 7 and 8 reminds us. He is so rich in kindness and grace that he purchased our freedom with the blood of his son and forgave our sins. He has showered his kindness on us. Colossians 3, 12 states, Since God chose you to be the holy people he loves, you must clothe yourselves with tenderhearted mercy, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. And then in 2 Corinthians 6, 6, we read, We prove ourselves by our purity, our understanding, our patience, our kindness by the Holy Spirit within us and our sincere love. So as the Holy Spirit has planted his seed of kindness in us, let's look for opportunities to show kindness to others. Let's clothe ourselves with kindness, put kindness on as a garment each day. The world needs the followers of Jesus to display kindness in all of our interactions with others. God bless you today.